Using DeepSeek for scraping feels almost illegal, just of how cheap it is. We're going to first set up DeepSeek, then set up the open source crawler to use DeepSeek, then we'll see the results we get from scraping a website with this somewhat controversial LLM. But first, why DeepSeek for scraping? Because scraping for some businesses is a recurring task, done almost every single minute. Data is very valuable. So depending on what a B2B startup is selling, they need to guarantee that they get that data precisely. And ever since scraping with AI has been a thing, a whole scope of new startups was born. So they depend on reliable LLMs to do the job, but not only reliable, they also need it to be cheaper. LLMs are frequently using 1 million tokens as a reference to their pricing. But how much words are 1 million tokens? Considering a single word equals 1.3 tokens, then 1 million tokens would be equal to 750,000 words. So yeah, roughly the size of the Bible. That could lead you to think, okay, then 1 million tokens, I can scrape a lot of things. Not exactly, because what we see is just this. But what the LLM will see is the entire page source. And obviously, the, the tools we're going to use to scrape this might remove most of these HTML tags so that not all this is transformed into tokens and inserted inside the context window. But in some cases, we're not only scraping, we're also crawling. So the LLM has to understand, okay, this, this is a, a link, this is, has the structure of a link, and to know that it has to have the HTML tag. And then it's going to perform a click, go inside of this page, and then get the text from this page, understand all of the other links, and go through them one by one to ensure that we get the complete content of the entire website. But that's one example. I've seen startups scrape websites every five and five minutes for every hour of every day of the month. And to get a rough estimation of how much they would spend, let's use this example from my DeepSeek platform usage. I, I've made seven API requests and spent about 22,000 tokens, but these tokens include input and output. Let's just consider the input and yeah, let's round that up to 20,000 tokens spent. This would be about 2,800 tokens per request. Doing this six times per hour every day, so each 10 minutes, and also doing this every single day of the month would make us spend about 12 million tokens every single month. And to compare the prices, that's basically $30 with GPT-40. With DeepSeek V3, that would be $1.68. But be aware that after the 8th of February, that price will change and it would be up to $3.24. Still almost like 10 times cheaper than with GPT-40. So yeah, enough talking, let's set this up. Probably what you'll be redirected when you access DeepSeek is this page. Then all you have to do is hit access API. When you get to the access API, hit top up. And these are the, the values you can choose. You can also choose a custom price, but the minimal is $2. You'll see $2.12, but that's just tax. You can use PayPal to pay it. For me, this was pretty normal, pretty easy. I just had some problems with PayPal, not with DeepSeek, but as soon as I got that problem solved, it credited the $2 immediately to my account. Next, what you want to do is create a new API key. All you have to do is just type in the name of the API, hit create, and you're all set. Then just make sure to copy your key. And then what you can do is come over to the project. The way we're using the API is DeepSeek underline API. So fill that in. This would be inside the environment variable file, and then just paste in your API. After that's done, we get to the code and I won't bore you guys with coding, but there are some really cool things we can do with crawl for ai This is an open source project. You can check their documentation here. And yeah, you can really do a lot with this. Let me show you guys some features. Like while you're browsing, you can turn on the verbosity uh, for you to like understand what's happening through each step. In the crawl configuration, you can exclude external links. So if you're crawling through a website and you, you just want to crawl that specific website, you can turn off the, the, the external links so that the crawler doesn't get those links. You could prompt into removing those overlay elements. And also you can decide if you want to process iframes. And by just removing this, I suppose it makes the scraping much more faster. And in the LLM strategy variable, you have to define a provider of DeepSeek slash DeepSeek chat. And I know this because of this particular file, which has every single LLM that you can use in crawl for AI. And one of them is this DeepSeek chat. And then they have a bunch of specifications here. It's, it's interesting to take a look. Also, if you're looking to use a particular LLM, it would be nice to look at this page beforehand. After inserting this, what you want to do is configure which URL you want to scrape. And what are the instructions? Like what should the AI look for inside the website? 
What I say here is just extract all rules from the main table as objects with rank, model, arena, score, 95%. Yeah, I, I just place every single parameter I want inside that object. And th this really helps the LLM understand like what you're looking for because they can they can find these these words and like understand like what you're what you're searching for. Then I continue on saying it's from the content. This prompt could be better, but honestly, it understood just with this simple prompt. Before running this code, you'll want to take a look at this readme.md, which will instruct you how you, you should run this. So the first thing is using a virtual environment for this project. Uh, I named it vert, but you can choose whatever you like. And then get inside, like use this to activate it in your terminal. Uh, this will be activated and then you install uh, the crawl AI library and then you execute this code to set up crawl for AI. And then there's a very important step that you should do to guarantee that you don't miss on any AI tools for your business. And that is to just scroll down and subscribe to the channel. Here, all you should do is just type in Python main.py and let it do its magic. The website we're scraping is web.lmarena.com. This is the, the website for the chatbot arena. If you guys have ever checked it out in Hugging Face, this is, this is an awesome way to compare LLMs, which are through humans. So humans dispute in, in, in chats, uh, like this example right here. I could just type in something like, which is the best LLM? And as soon as I confirm that, it would bring me a model A, model B, and I would have to vote on like which is the best. From a quick overview, I would just much prefer the model A since it got a pretty nice structure to just directly look at it and figure out like what, what I'm after. So I would vote A is better. And normally they would just place the, the name of the model here, but it's currently written like anonymous chatbot while the other one is also not a familiar LLM. And after all this test, it, it provides a complete leaderboard of like which are the best performing LLMs. We have DeepSeek in seventh place here. And this is what we're going to scrape. Like what I want is basically the model, like its rank, the arena score, this, all in a nice structure. And why is structure so important? Because it's predictable. I, I know every time, like every time I scrape this website, I know what to expect. I know what structure to expect. And with this structure, I can send everything over to a database. I can feed a front end application. Yeah, I can do a lot of things just because it's predictable. So back here in the results, this is the result we've got. I'm going to just send this over here to test.json, copy it right in there and format it. Okay. So yeah, this is the structure I was talking about. This is perfect. We got rank one, two, three, this is correctly ordered and we got exactly what we wanted. Really precise. Like you understand that this website must update every single time. I don't know at which frequency, but if someone wanted to scrape data precisely for LLMs, and feed another front end application, this could be a nice go-to. And depending on which website you're creating, you can just do this once per day. And you might be wondering how much that I spent with this single request. Previously, I had just seven requests. This was a bit over 22,000 tokens. And now with one more request, it's 26,160. So roughly 4,000 tokens spent, and that's equal to 0 0.0056 cents of a dollar. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.